Well, it is one of the emptiest feelings a car owner can ever have. One minute your vehicle's in your driveway, the next minute it's gone, and you have no clue where it went. The Fox 5i team says a lot of stolen cars are eventually smuggled overseas through the Savannah seaport. And Fox 5i team reporter Randy Travis watched the strategy to stop them, Randy. That's right, Christina Russia. How do you catch a car thief? It's not easy. You start with a metal mountain of possible clues and try to work your way back to the victim. It's a hurting thing for somebody to come in your yard and take something. Even more painful when you realize the crime happened while you were actually awake inside your Jonesboro home. Watch as one of two men carefully approached Kelvin Brown's 2022 Jeep Gladiator shortly after dawn last year. Slide inside and then quietly back out of the driveway, steering the Army vet's $57,000 baby toward a destination unknown. I like for it to look pretty sharp and kind of like get that attention, but not enough attention for somebody else to want it more than me. 15 months later, the trail that was ice cold <laughs> would lead to one of the summer's hottest Georgia cities, Savannah. One of the busiest ports in the U.S. Each year in this country, more than a million motor vehicles are stolen. 26,000 in Georgia alone. Some of them wind up getting smuggled overseas through the Savannah Seaport. So how can you catch them? You do this. A high-tech game of hide and seek. Oh, is there an image on that one or no? It takes 30 seconds to scan, and then any container that we do see an anomaly, we're going to pop that open. An anomaly. That's how Customs and Border Protection says they caught a Douglas County man trying to ship stolen cars. According to a federal indictment, Prince Badeco helped move eight stolen cars to Savannah to be shipped overseas. Authorities say they reviewed the paperwork that supposedly showed all loans had been paid. But officers spotted something odd. Can you spell anomaly? Kid it, typos. So uh, Dodge was spelled incorrectly, Chrysler was spelled incorrectly. Douglas County Sheriff's investigators say they discovered another stolen car parked in Badeco's driveway. Badeco did not respond to our attempts for comment. In a deal with the government, he agreed to plead guilty to stealing four of the cars and will be sentenced later. He was the high level. He actually had people working underneath them. At least three million containers ship out here each year than any other American port, say officials. Now he's put he's releasing an album. Investigators check manifest. Yeah, all Amazon stuff. Review shippers with previous issues. That was at 926. <laughs> and sometimes monitor destinations popular for smugglers. Can you see the VIN number at all? Many stolen cars are headed to Western Africa. I love my job, um, but you know when I find something that's stolen, I get I get pumped up, I get jazzed about it, and it makes me want to dig deeper and figure out who who was shipping it, where it was going and why. We watched Customs and Border Protection officers pop the seals on other questionable shipping containers. It might be manifest as household goods. We do an x-ray and there's two cars in there. But despite the haphazard packing jobs, none of these cars turned out to be stolen. Then we saw this. Oh, hello. It's a car all by itself. A new Lexus SUV destined for Ghana. But the true owner was not clear on the paperwork, so it would be pulled out to join the dozens of others sitting in a warehouse, waiting for further instructions. But not all. We have one that's being seized today, um, a Jeep Gladiator. A Jeep Gladiator, discovered with an altered VIN the day before our visit. At one point, locked in a shipping container, headed for Liberia. There's your Jeep. Kelvin Brown's missing baby. Wow. Wow, yep, there's her. Still got almost, still got the light. That light on that cost twelve hundred dollars. <laughs> it's been so long. He already received the insurance money for the theft, which he used to buy another Jeep Gladiator. This my new baby. <laughs> and he's installed extra cameras and tracking devices to hopefully make sure this one stays where it belongs, at home, rather than hidden in a mountain of shipping containers destined for some place half a world away.
Now, as for that expensive light bar on Kelvin's stolen Jeep, he was not able to make a claim with his insurance company on that. So authorities in Savannah are allowing him to eventually get that back. So he's very excited about that oh, light I'm bar. Oh, I'm sure he is. So is there a theme with these vehicles? Are they expensive vehicles that these criminals are looking for? So let me give you some statistics. Uh, last year, they found 75 stolen vehicles in these various shipping containers worth about $4 million. So an average of about $53,000 each. Okay. This year already, uh, they found 46 totaling six million dollars so they're averaging about hundred and thirty two thousand dollars each so yes oh, wow. the cars have gone very high end now at least the ones they're finding down in savannah wow that's a fascinating story it yeah. really is and, and, and they're, they're telling me that the the cars are being shipped overseas to pay debts that there's some organized crime connection here i would love to know if the people who stole kelvin's car a year and a half ago how are they connected and how that car get down there mm -hmm. and hopefully now that the authorities understand who was trying to ship it they can work their way backwards and see if they can figure out those two guys are connected in any way well i had no idea that this was going on no, but it's, it's a tremendously not. difficult job given the fact that some of these cargo ships can hold twenty thousand of those cars four million shipping containers come in and out of savannah wow. every year wow. imagine trying to find the, the stolen car yeah it's like those. a needle in a haystack yeah it sure is all right thanks so much randy okay. great stuff thanks